I've been on social media for a very long time and now for the first time ever I decided to take a little break. If you want to find out why, keep watching. Thanks. First up, let's talk about a few facts here. I spent around two and a half hours on my phone lately, every single day. Around one and a half hours on YouTube every single day. The other hour consists of half an hour Instagram and then half an hour other apps like WhatsApp, whatever I do on my phone. And that is why I lost all my hair. And uh, actually, welcome back everyone. First, I got my hair cut. You've probably never seen me like this before but the long hair were really annoying. And because I can't go outside, I decided to just cut them myself. Or actually, my father cut them for me, trimmed them off, and it was funny. In this video, I want to mention a few good reasons why I'm doing this. And this is not to spread negativity or to say all social media is bad. I'm a fan of social media and I've always been, but lately there's some things that annoyed me a little bit about certain apps and certain types of content. And I've never really done this before, so I want to try it out and share my experiences quitting social media. And I would like to see how that can benefit my life. And I don't know, maybe it doesn't benefit my life. Maybe I end up broke somewhere. Anyway, the whole point of this experiment is to quit all social media for 30 days and to see what that does to my life because I'm so used to social media. I'm on social media since I remember, since 2000, I don't know, 11. It's been a big part of my life and probably yours as well for a while long time and as lately because of the situation a lot is going on in social media and people spend a lot of time in social media I feel like this whole isolation at home tends to bring people a lot into these platforms the big companies will benefit people like me will also benefit people that actually create for social media and I'm still not sure how good it is to overuse social media let's start this video here now I'm going to go on my phone and do something that really scares me something that I've never really done before and to start if I know that there are people that are way more addicted to social media than me I don't know if I'm addicted to it we will see when I don't have it and in fact I only really use two social media platforms which is Instagram and YouTube and I don't know if you consider YouTube a social media platform that's always a tricky question but I'm going to uninstall it anyway because it, it's really an addiction I spend a lot of time consuming content on YouTube maybe too much I guess around two and a half hours every single day that is so much and only one hour on the phone because I spent a lot on my computer also. And so I also need to figure out how I'm going to stop doing that and I will put away YouTube from my browser on the computer and see if that works. But first up, of course, Instagram. I don't know, should I maybe make a last story telling everyone that I'm now gone? I mean, this is not real life, I'm still here. They're just not going to see me on this platform for the next 30 days. Goodbye, Instagram. This is a sad moment for me. Okay, by now you're probably thinking, why the f is she doing this and you don't know me that way? Please don't leave here and judge me. I know I seem like an idiot right now. But let me explain you the real reasons why I'm doing this. And then also please stay to the end because we hit 2000 subscribers about a week ago. And so I want to give away something to you and give back. And also one very important information before you leave this video and think I'm an idiot. I'm not going to quit YouTube and I'm not going to stop uploading. I will still upload at least one video a week, if not more. Please keep that in mind. I would never quit YouTube here and I would cry if I would do that probably. The reason why I decided to do this is actually social media for me has always been a very tricky thing. Spending a lot of time on there every single day has made me realize how much actually I waste time on social media. And lately I've spent a lot of time on social media because of the whole isolation and because of all the situation that we're in right now. It's come to a point where it really started to stress me out and where social media became something that I don't enjoy at all anymore. And there are two different things on social media for me. There is consuming content and there is creating content. Creating content is what I do right now. It's what I do when I take photos, when I make videos and upload them to social media to build my platforms and to share my message and to get my thoughts out there. That's creating content. But there is consuming content which is sitting on your phone for hours and hours and scrolling down the screen. And that is actually the thing that stressed me out in the end. And I figured out something very interesting. I really asked myself this question, why is social media stressing you out? And why are you always unhappy or don't feel very good when you're on social media? 
media actually when you leave social media and do something else why does it always bring you down and then after thinking about it i figured out that the main problem for me on social media is the problem of comparison and that really makes me <laughs> cry and that is really my main problem and issue with social media right now i tend to compare myself to everything that i see on social media and i think it's especially harder when you create content for social media or when you are an artist or photographer or videographer whatever you do on social media i think it's especially harder than because every single time i open up instagram or youtube i see all these other people creating photos and videos and everything that i can see i compare to my own work and if I see something that's better, that brings me down. If I see something that's worse, that brings me also down. Everything, I've just realized it about myself. Every photo and video that I see in my niche, which is filmmaking or photography on social media, brings me down. And I know that's really a sad thing. And you might think also I'm also a little bit of an asshole if I don't like to consume other people's content but expect other people to consume my content in a way and i know it's a strange thing that's going on but i realized that this is bringing me down and so i'm going to quit it and see what happens if i quit it and what happens if i don't consume content then there's the second big problem which i think also a lot of people making videos taking photos content creators suffer from which is being over influenced by other opinions and other styles also a lot if you consume photos and videos on social media all day long you will see what's successful and you will see what's not successful and automatically your brain will say i'm going to do what's successful because then i'm also successful and that is why we have so many people that do the exact same stuff on youtube that create the same videos that make the same photos and that is why we have everyone doing the same thing in the end that's a sad truth because i think everyone is different and everyone's creativity should go in a different direction i mean not everyone likes b-roll videos i've just seen this trend on youtube so much lately i don't know i'm not hyped to make videos about it even though it might succeed because everyone is watching it and creating it currently i'm just not the kind of guy for that and so i'm going to focus all my attention in the next 30 days on creating a lot of videos that i'm proud of and that really express my own thoughts and i'm going to stop consuming other content and see if that can change something in my brain and in my creativity as a filmmaker as a photographer and see if i can maybe come up with something different i don't know i think it's going to be a cool experiment the next big part is often i tell myself that being on social media is productive because on youtube you learn something and on instagram you can see what works and see how to implement stuff into your own work but in the end from i would say two and a half hours of social media that i spent every single day around 30 minutes are productive for a little bit more. Yes, I like to watch videos that give me a lot of value on YouTube and I like to watch videos that teach something. I really enjoy that about YouTube, that I can learn something new. But in the end, I feel like you watch YouTube videos and then you watch a video that maybe shows something interesting that you can learn something from. And then on the sidebar, on the suggested videos, you see all the trash that really does not give you anything for your life, but you click on it because you want to see it. And it's a damn YouTube algorithm that hooks you. And Instagram has never really been that much of a thing for me. I never really liked it. And I like to post photos on there, but the platform itself, I don't know, it just does not give me anything that I need for my life. And that is why I don't spend a lot of time on Instagram in general, but I'm also going to quit that. The good thing about all of this in the end is if you really think about it, you now have two and a half hours of your life, or I don't know how much it is for you, you can check it on your phone. You spend two and a half hours every single day on social media, mostly non-productive stuff. And if you quit that, you're going to need to replace it with something else because now you have a two and a half hours longer day in a way. You now have time to do something else. And I have already thought about what I want to do instead of social media. I mean, I could watch TV instead of social media, which would be the same unproductive thing. But here are the things that I'm going to do. First up, FPV drone. I'm almost ready setting it up. I now got the controller. And as a lot of you have told me in the comments on the recent video, that it's going to be harder than I think. Full speed through this pillar. And these comments probably have a reason of being I mean, it is way hard and I already tried a lot in the simulator. It's so different from a normal drone. So in the next 30 days, I'm going to spend a lot of time flying the simulator and trying to get outside and get my first flights done and learn FPV drones. That's my goal. Then I want to focus more on making better videos and I want to get more into photography. I really lost the sense of photography a little bit lately since 
little while I haven't taken a lot of photos. I don't know, it did not it did not excite me as much anymore, which is sad because it's something that I've always really liked. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my camera a lot in the next days and just go outside in the local forest where I'm still allowed to go 200 meters and see if I can find some wildlife maybe that would be so cool. I just get so happy when I'm outside in the forest. That's just way better for me than sitting on Instagram for two hours now that I'm isolated at home and I know that this whole talk here somehow gives you the inspiration to maybe unsubscribe to this channel because you think I don't want to consume any more social media like you. Please don't take my words here why serious, I can't even take myself serious. This is just an experiment, I'm definitely not going to quit social media for the rest of my life. In the end I like social media because especially YouTube, you can learn something from YouTube, you can get inspired, connect. I mean YouTube is my brain in a way. I don't need a brain anymore in my life because whenever I have a question and whatever it is for example I need to find out how to cook something now that I have time to cook at home and I go on YouTube I search for a video and I will learn it that is why I really like YouTube and also the whole connection thing I mean you can interact with other people and so maybe this wouldn't be for you maybe it would be for you if you want you can join the challenge just install the apps and in 30 days we can chat with each other and see if it helped us with our creativity or with our productivity and what I'm going to do in 30 days I will of course create a video talking about what it was like to quit social media just sharing my thoughts on the experiment maybe I'm going to regret it a lot and so because I've seen a lot of people have enjoyed the FPV video the first or a lot of attention has been on that video I'm going to share that journey on this YouTube channel from now also a lot I'm going to make a few videos about my first flights and sharing my thoughts on FPV and maybe giving some value if I learn something I can maybe give that to you if I find out how to fly this drone maybe I can make a few tutorials or stuff like that so stay tuned for that but now thank you so much for 2000 subs it's growing a lot right now which also excites me we are almost at 2100 by the time that you're watching it that's super cool I really want to say thank you and this community on YouTube means a lot to me and so as we have a lot of filmmakers and photographers here we have a lot to give away. We have two camera backpacks which is super cool. We have this one and Dorax camera backpack. I already gave away a similar or the same one in the past. I have another one and we're going to give it away. This is a small camera bag and then we have this one a little bit bigger camera bag. I used this once in the past, so I hope that is no problem. I only brought it once with me, but just that you know, that is this camera backpack with a lot of space for your cameras. Or you can also store beer in there if that's what you enjoy. I mean, it's up to you. I would say 30 best boy. The two winners are going to get these backpacks and they don't have anything else physically that I can give away. So the third, fourth and fifth winner is going to get a free product on my store. Maybe someone needs some Lightroom presets or some LUTs. Now you probably have the question, how do I enter here? Because I want this free backpack. Then here's how you enter. All you need to do is hit the red box below that says subscribe. Then you subscribe to this channel. Thank you. And then you should also leave a comment below so that I can pick one to subscribe and leave a comment and you're ready to win something. Thanks everyone for 2000 subs, it means a lot for me. And then I'm going to announce the winner in two weeks or so and then I'm going to ship it once the post office is open again and it's going to take a little while. And so this video is already coming to an end. I hope you understood it, I hope it wasn't confusing. I just wanted to share this experiment and as I've said before, please don't take the words that I just shared with you about social media too seriously. Think about yourself, think about how much you spend on social media and think about what it gives you. Maybe it gives you a whole lot and that can also be awesome. So just don't take all the words that I've said here as they are and just build your own opinion on these things. Thanks for watching this video and I will hopefully see you then in the next one. Goodbye, peace, tschüss.